Hi. Oh. Okay, you're not supposed to be inside this area. It's a brand new day on the trail and I'm ready to face the ruts. Oh no, I'm not ready to face the ruts. <laughs> Where are we going? Ah, to the left. Okay. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number seven on the Trans Euro Trail here in the UK. We're heading all the way through England, Wales to the border of Scotland. And we're here in the county of Wiltshire and we're about to head back onto the Salisbury Plains. Yesterday we took on many, many, many miles of this massive plateau, which is also a giant military training area. Yes, and it was pretty, pretty challenging. I dropped my bike so many times. I just can't believe it. It was so hard. So I'm excited and scared at the same time. I think your final count was seven for the day. Oh, petrol's coming out of your tank. Let's get, let's get it up. Oh, I just saw you in my mirror. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm down again. What? Oh. Guys, again. Again, I said again. The one. one. Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh, what? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh yeah, <laughs> too many drops for one day, which is why yesterday we decided to give up, call it a day, take a campsite for the night. Hold on a second, let me see here. Okay, it says no entry for civilian vehicles. Can't go down there. So we will, oh, there's a big army truck coming. <laughs> Let's not get in the way of the UK military. <sighs> Hello. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, because normally this was our way. Our way was normally down that little track there, oh. but it says danger, no admittance. Okay. So I reckon let's go this way. Okay. Yeah, the one issue with going through a military training area is that when they're actually training, you can't really ride through it because you might get shot. But this area has tons and tons and tons of tracks going in all directions. So if we can't go one way, hopefully we'll be able to go round and go another. But today, after our Salisbury Plains adventure, we're going to be leaving Wiltshire and heading into the county of Gloucestershire. So we are here and today we're going to be continuing our way north on what looks like a very straight part of the trail here towards the city of Gloucester. The aim for today is to try to reach the city of Gloucester but like every day we really don't know how fast we're going to be able to tackle these trails, how far we're going to be able to get. Anyway we are well rested and ready to take on some more roads. Let's do it. Oh there's a tank. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> no way. Crazy. It's so funny you're just riding down a dirt road and then suddenly oh there's a tank. All right, we have found a track where we might not get shot at and now we're heading right out into the plains and I think this off-road section goes for like over five miles which is probably one of the longest off-road parts that we might do on the whole trail. But it's a little bit confusing here in this area because some parts you can't access when the flag is up, like a red flag. So behind us we can see a red flag but we are sort of heading in a direction where we can't see a red flag. It's up for the best day. Yeah, I think unless we come across like a barrier that says stop, then I think we're okay. But we'll keep an eye out for red flags. Yes. 
and we'll keep an eye out for soldiers with guns but it's really interesting about this area because I was reading last night that actually the Salisbury Plain is actually the largest chalk grassland in Europe this is a prehistoric landscape and it's only because the military bought up all of this land and basically prevented any development or any sort of intensive agriculture because they only allow sort of sparse sheep and cows on this land and that's actually been a blessing for this area because it's meant that this whole landscape has been protected so the Salisbury Plains as we're seeing them today with sparse pockets of woodland and grassland this is exactly how the Salisbury Plains would have looked for a long, long time. And there's lots of ancient prehistoric sites on the Salisbury Plains, lots of Neolithic sites, including, of course, the place that we saw yesterday, Stonehenge. So you can get a pretty good view from here. Very, very cool. I can feel its aura from here. But they've also uncovered a lot of archaeological evidence within the military area here. And that's all been preserved and protected since the early 1900s when all this land was bought up. Ah. Uh, yeah, this message is pretty clear. Danger, range live, no admittance. And then this fence, danger, live firing in progress, keep out. Danger, unexploded military debris. Danger, impact area, keep out. Do you think there's a chance of danger if I head this way? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at least they make it clear. That's the one thing. Hi. Right. Wrong area. Oh. Okay, you're not supposed to be inside this area. The place is completely locked down. Oh, okay. Turn around and follow me. Okay. Where are you trying to get? To? Our trail was supposed to be down that road, but I saw the barrier, so we stopped. You enter. Uh, just back, just literally, just back here. Not very far away. Follow me. Okay. Okay. That, that's fine. Yeah, we'll follow you. Thank you. Okay, so apparently, not only are you not allowed behind the barriers, but he told us that we're not even allowed to be where we are right now. So. Uh oh. Yeah. So do you think they have cameras everywhere that they that he like saw us? I think they are the military, so they are probably watching everything. So I think yeah, I think somebody must have noticed us. Oh no, yeah. I thought as long as we kept out of the areas with the big signs and the big danger signs, I thought that we'd be okay. But anyway, he says we're not supposed to be here at all. So we're going to follow this guy and we're going to make our way out of the Salesby Plains military training area. Apparently today is not the day to come to the Salesby Plain military training area because, believe it or not, they are training. <laughs> escorting us like completely even a different way than what we came we don't have a choice eh? we don't have a choice he said follow me and he is the military and therefore we will follow oh look we didn't come through a barrier like this did we so this is the uh, uh, like a normal road now there okay okay red flags yep Okay. Enter any part of that training area, you're going to put yourself at risk. Okay. Where we are at the minute, we're at range two. Where that Land Rover is coming down is your safe passage of route. Okay. It's where you need to go. Straight. Okay. You will be off the training area. You get to the north side, but you have to go via the road. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Keep an eye out for the flag. Yep. I will do. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So that's the end of our Salesby Plain adventure. For now, it's probably a good idea just to follow the rules. And hey, at least we got to see a tank this morning. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not every day, hey? Not every day you get escorted off a military premises <laughs> by the military. Anyway, so we'll make our way around the training area and continue the Tet from the north side. Look, we are arriving in West Lavington. This is your town, Navi! Okay, there's the sign for the byway. And we are officially back on trail. Okie dokie. Let's do it, eh? Yeah, it's a new day. 
We both have not fallen today, so let's try and keep it that way. Yes. Well, isn't this a nice Holloway Lane? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, these sunken lanes are gorgeous. This is a nice one to start the day, isn't it? Look at this. Yeah. That's not too hard. And it's just nice and green and a little bit shaded as well. So it's perfect. And it's not rutted. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the most important. Second gear. Let's do it. Welcome to La Coque. Now, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I want to pronounce it. We've been joined by a trail rider who uh, met us a few minutes ago and he said, oh, where are you heading? And we were like, we're just heading on the Tet. And he's like, oh, I haven't ridden the trails in a while. So mind if I just follow you around for a bit? And we were like, go for it. Well, isn't La Coque a lovely little village, hey? All right, another off-road section begins. And we're joined by Ash on his Suzuki DR350. That is looking awesome. Let's take on this little bit of off-road, shall we? Into this little single track lane immediately but at least it's not a rut exactly oh i say that oh no it's a little bit of a rut but it's okay <laughs> it's okay i hope that ash has uh, suitable gloves on for the stinging nettles that's all i can say <laughs> bit of a stick in the way that's all right okay Yes, that's more like it. Just stand up through this bit. Okay. Or don't stand oh. up actually. Wait a second. <laughs> How is it? Is it like when you... Okay, hold on a second. Now it says that the uh, the highway runs along this ford, and I don't know if we can go up or down. Let me try going up. I think we'll go up. Yeah. 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 Up here. Don't know how to get there. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. Just don't fall in the ford, please. Okay. <laughs> Just don't fall in the river. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Okay. Yep. Did Ash make it through as well? Yes, yes. Ash made it through. He's there. Okay. Oh, what's that? Maybe I have to tighten up my chain a little bit. You got a little bit of uh, like a uh, clanging around. Yeah. Like this for a while. Very muddy and slippery, and then we come to a road and we're on a hill, and it's over. Okay. I don't know, three kilometers? Okay. Three kilometers, did he say? Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> She's like, oh, it only goes for like three kilometers here. <laughs> it's like three kilometers. <laughs> Whoop. Uh -uh. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, this is definitely... Just take it nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no.
okay. I'm going to practice a little bit standing up now. I think this bit here is a good, uh, good enduro practice for us. Oh, got a tree branch in the face. Okay, first gear. Oh, feet went down a bit, but I made it through. Can I go up here? I'm just literally going through the middle of every single one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord, that was deep. <laughs> that was actually quite deep. Try and stand up through the next bit. Okay. Nearly crashed, nearly crashed. <laughs> I saw you, I saw you heading towards the tree. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Need a bit of momentum there to get through. I will go a different path. Okay, made it through. Yes! Survived, hey? Yeah, just about. <laughs> that was a bit of a mud bath, wasn't it? That's good for that lady, though. Somebody aims for a tree at one point. I saw you in the mirror, you were really heading towards it. You're between the ruts, uh -huh. and then you kind of aimed out of the rut. Yes, exactly. And then you panicked, and then you could only go forward, yeah. rather than let the bike drop into it. You don't have a lot of tread, like with tyres like this, just let yeah. them drop. Uh -huh. And the more loose you are, as long as your front wheel isn't over there and your back wheel isn't over there, then you're kind of okay. You should be still going. We all survived anyway. That's the most important thing. So we have our first repair going on here because I realized that my chain is really, really loose. So we have to tighten up the chain. I think we remember how it's been done. <laughs> I hope so. We're just doing this one here, hey? You're doing both sides equally. Both sides equ equally, no? Okay. Okay, yep. It's a 12, yeah? Yeah, it's a 12. And you're going clockwise. I'm going clock clockwise. Yeah. Are you sure your wheel is straight in the first place? Uh, so when we did it the first time, we made sure that the markers are yeah. the same. There's like a black line here. There. <laughs> oh, sorry. So jump on the bike. And it's going counterclockwise, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll pull it this way. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. Wait. Should I do something yeah. or? Okay, down. Yeah, is that right? So the, the rule is there will be a amount of travel up and down yeah. from the loosest point. And what it is, is it's that much before the top starts to move. So if you look at the top, yeah, tightens oh, up. I see, yeah. So that's why it's not as simple as just looking at the bottom for the free play. Yeah. But I'd say that's compared to what it was. That's, that's good, yeah. We bought this chain on Amazon. I don't even know if it's a good one. All right. Successful chain tightening. Thanks to the help of Ash. And we're back on trail. So we've just joined a road called the Foss Way and Ash told us actually that the Foss Way is an ancient Roman road and that is why it is so straight, although pretty full of potholes as well. Come on Romans. The Romans built a huge series of roads through the UK that were all very very straight in straight lines, that's how they liked their roads. And some parts of the Foss Way have been paved and have become, you know, modern day roads. But there are some parts, like the section we're on now, that just never got paved. So these make for quite nice little straight trails. So we have stopped for lunch. 
in the little town, is it a town or a village? So we've just stopped for lunch in the little town of Malmesbury <laughs> and I couldn't resist getting a little bacon sandwich and the lovely cappuccino. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. See, we're very natural when it comes to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're not really good vloggers. <laughs> So we've just had a lovely little lunch break in Malmesbury. It's one of the things I've been looking forward to on this trip is just passing through these nice little towns and villages, sometimes stopping to have a nice little toasty and a coffee. So now we're refreshed and back on the road. We're heading back to the ancient Roman road, the Foss Way. So Ash tells us that he has unfinished business with this road because coming up ahead is a river crossing. Now there is a bridge that you can take but Ash said he's always wanted to do the river crossing. The first time he came on this way he was on a little 125 and he didn't do the river crossing. So then the second time he was on the Foss Way with his Suzuki DR350 he was on his way and he was gonna take it on but he got a flat tire because somebody put a bag of nails out on the path which is absolutely crazy but it meant that he couldn't finish this way and he couldn't do the river crossing. So he told us that today he is gonna take it on and I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna take it on. I'm gonna see first how he does and how the river crossing actually looks before I decide whether to take the crossing or to take the bridge. Oh, I see a sign for a Ford in a third of a mile. I think it's coming up. Let's see if our little van vans will make it. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is it. Patty. Looks easy, hey? <laughs> this is the unfinished business. It's a little bit deep today. I'll do it after you've done it and I see how far, how deep you go. <laughs> Ollie, normally you have to be the brave one and go first. I'm not going first. <laughs> Let's see. It's all loose stone. It, you know what? It doesn't look like it gets much deeper. No. So what you've got to be careful of is these ones, these bigger stones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to take it on. We've done muddy puddle crossings, but never something like this. What is the worst thing can happen? If you drown it, we need to drain it. Yeah. yeah. It's not too bad, hey? If you drop the bike, on the, make sure the engine turns off as quickly as you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you drop the bike, head for the key. Oh, you make me scared, guys! <laughs> Woo! Nice! He's doing it! He's doing it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> okay, my turn. Ready? Ready! Let's do it! <gasps> uh oh. You're doing it! You're doing it! <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes! Good work! Good work, Ash! Nice! There we go! Shall we do it again? <laughs> This 
been really well, nice. nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, really nice to meet you. Yeah. Feel good, yeah. good horizon. <laughs> There he goes, off back home. We had a trail buddy for half a day. Pretty cool. Cool. On towards Gloucester then, hey? Yes. Oh, I got us a good haul from Lidl this time. <laughs> oh, Christmas is here. Okay, we got some, oh Jesus, wait, wait, wait. Indonesian deluxe coffee. Brilliant. Petit pois and baby carrots. That's to go with. Instant noodles and chorizo and these things. Sweet corn and jalapeno fritters. And I was just making it up. It's brilliant. I got you the rocket as requested. <laughs> Thank you. Plus some dark chocolate for dessert. So we have made it here to Gloucester. And it's actually quite late now. It's 10 to seven. We have been on the bikes for a long time today. Oh, there's Gloucester Cathedral. I can see it. But I'm super happy because we arrived here in Gloucester in one piece and we just rung up some campsites here in this area. We had a good find uh, because here's one campsite not far away, 15 minutes, apparently for 15 pounds, which is a pretty good price for tonight. I'm super excited to build up the tent again and just have a good rest day. As well, it was a long day today. It was a lot of crazy roads. Yeah, it was by far our longest day on the trail today. So yeah, 10 miles to the campsite and I'm ready to call it a day. Here we are, Pellerine camping and caravan. We'll just park here and then I'll go over to the reception and just double check where we're supposed to be. This looks like a really neat little campsite, doesn't it? Very nice. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yo. Yes, and look at this gourmet noodle dinner. I'm so excited for this. And we probably found the flattest spot here in the whole camping area, which is right here. Yes, and I've got my vast camera array here, just importing the footage from the day. There was a pretty crazy day in the end, getting escorted by the military, riding through a river. It's like, you know, crazy stuff today. Yeah, and it was super cool that we ran into Ash and that he tagged along with us. Most importantly, that he went first on the river crossing so that we could see how deep it was and see how it was done. Yes, good job, Ash, good job. <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna have a good dinner, a good rest, and be ready for another crazy day on the trail tomorrow. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. <laughs>